Meantime, in northern Ukraine, the site of the world's worst nuclear disaster has been captured by Russian forces. Russian military reportedly assembled in the exclusion zone just north of the Chernobyl power plant before moving in and taking control. Now, back in 1986, a botched safety test there led to clouds of nuclear material being sent all across Europe. Correspondent Janelle Fort joins us live. So, Janelle, what does this mean in the bigger picture? Why go after Chernobyl? Well, Nicole, there's still a lot of uncertainty about the implications of this, but a lot of the information coming in is implying that this takeover has more to do with geography than anything else. Uh, if you look at a map, you can see that the quickest way, the fastest way to get from Russia to Kyiv is from the north, passing through the area known as the Chernobyl exclusion zone. So when you take that into consideration, it appears that this is a strategic move by the Russians and a move that's creating a lot of fear and worry. Russian forces took control of the site after a fierce battle with Ukrainian National Guards earlier today. As of right now, the condition of the facilities is unknown. There have been unconfirmed reports of an increase in radiation levels in the area, believed to be caused by a Russian shelling hitting a repository. Chernobyl, again, was the site of the worst nuclear disaster in history 36 years ago. There's a thousand square mile zone of mostly an uninhibited forest surrounding it due to radioactivity in the plant had been in the process of being decommissioned. A few years ago, an enormous shelter called a sarcophagus was built around it to contain the radiation still leaking from it. And nuclear experts say all of that factors into why this takeover is such a grave concern. The site itself uh, is vulnerable, clearly. And I think the other issue is that even if it were not deliberately attacked in any way, the fact that there could be conflict and uh, you know military exchanges going on on that territory, uh, if bombs go off, uh, the sarcophagus itself could be vulnerable to collapse, releasing potentially an enormous amount of radioactive dust into the environment. And experts say if that happened, it would be catastrophic, not only for Ukraine, but for Russia, the region, and most of Europe, Nicole. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.